Whether you're a hardcore collector, flipper, whatever, casual, the Pokemon market is in this very circular uh, movement. It's kind of like a carousel right now. And I'm going to break down like what exactly is going on as a whole. And then also um, like how best to approach it. Um, so if you guys aren't, aren't familiar with that, let's like just jump straight into it. Um, so if you guys aren't familiar, we'll start off with Evolving Skies. Everyone knows Evolving Skies has absolutely taken off. Um, you can see the prices here. And so we're at um, last sold's around 700. Um, but if you look at the, the median listed price is 850. So um, this is what I'm talking about. So this box shot up in March. As you guys can see, I mean, we'll look at it on the six month. We were, I mean, in cheese. But what happens is these boxes, they when they, they have their run up and then they level off. And why they level off is because the merry-go-round comes around and then the next thing to grab is right there. So we'll give you some examples here. Um, and what, what will happen is this will come back around. Fusion Strike will come back around, and I'll tell you why. Or, uh, sorry, Evolving Skies um, will come back around. Fusion Strike came around, the merry-go-round, sold out on the Pokemon Center, and boop, 250 bucks. We're at 250 sales, uh, median price is 265, as you guys can see. Okay, people grabbed that up, started leveling out a little. I mean, still climbed a little, but it's kind of leveling out. And people go, oh, what's the next thing? Oh my gosh, Astral Radiance? I can get Astral Radiance in the 130s or 143 on Pokemon Center. Sold out on Pokemon Center. Um, came back in, stop, in stock on Pokemon Center. Dipped. Coming back up. Okay? Similar thing. It's just coming around. Now, what's going to happen, guys? What happens when this Fusion Strike box is, let's just say, um, in the 3s or $400. You got a Fusion Strike at 400 and then, oh, wow, I mean, that's a lot of money, but maybe I should maybe I should pick up an Evolving Skies for seven. Oh, and then all of a sudden, comparatively, Evolving Skies was so much higher, but then the other boxes come up, and you go, oh, it's time to... Evolving Skies came back around. It circled around. It leveled out. So this is what's going to happen, guys. And then new boxes are going to get introduced as they start to sell out, and we're going to talk about, talk about that. But real quick, if you're new to the channel... Um, 97.4% of you are not subscribed, so if you could uh, hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. But let's talk about the next carousel item that came around. Then they threw in the the 151 reprint, right? Everyone, it was uh, it was down into like the $50 range for a while. Uh, then it went back up into the 80s. Now you can get these. There is going between like 70 and high 60s right now. I still think this isn't the reprint. I still think there's more coming in May. I I could I could be wrong, but I I don't think I am. I don't know why Pokemon Center wouldn't print this uh, sort of into the ground a little bit. It's just being scalped like crazy. Um, so I still think there's going to be more coming, but whether you agree with that or not, okay, 151 goes by. They introduce a new one. What's the next kid on the block? Lost Origin. Just sold out in the Pokemon Center. We were able to get these for 143 a box. Now look where we're at. We're in the we're we're at the blast off here. Okay. Um, last sold's in the $200, okay? Listed medium price, $245, okay? Um, with this card, uh, with this set, we'll, I'll just take a quick peek at uh, PSA 10 sales of the Giratina, um, which has just been steadily climbing. I mean, look, we're at nine high eights, 900s for the uh, 890, like the Giratina. And then the other, like, this is going to crack in the nines and it's going to crack in the thousands. And then say it cracks a thousand. What's next? Oh, all of a sudden the, the Tina's at a thousand. Oh, maybe the Umbreon. Oh, well, I could spend a few hundred dollars more and get the Umbreon because that's like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. And then it, it okay now the Umbreon's popular and it's got to climb. So it's this is very circular thing. And I'm gonna tell we're gonna talk strategy in a second. But all right, next up, I think this is sort of breaking news. I believe this just sold out on the Pokemon Center, um, which is unfortunate for me. Um, I have to pay attention if there's a, a restock because I didn't get. Uh, I didn't get any cases yet. I was actually just about to um, before I made this video. Um, so, uh, sucks to be me. You should take my advice and get these sooner. But, you look at the prices right here. This whole time, they're above market, which is, um, sorry, MSRP, which is 143 on Pokemon Center. And now we just sold out. They just sold out, and average price is 184. 
I just made a video on Brilliant Stars, guys. So a few days ago, I mean, I called it. <laughs> I hadn't gotten the chance to get my cases yet, but um, what sometimes what happens when they sell, sell on the Pokemon Center, Lost Origin and Brilliant Stars, they might um, count all the stock that they have and, and then relist whatever's left. So there might still be a chance to get Brilliant Stars and Lost Origin for a short window. Um, like that's kind of what just happened with Astral Radiance. But as you guys can see here, Brilliant Stars out of stock. So um, strategies for what you guys can do. Like I said, whether you're just whether you're collecting um, and you want to get boxes at affordable prices or you're investing long-term, short-term, flipping, it doesn't matter. This is important to understand the, the cyclicalness of, of the Pokemon space right now. So um, what's going to happen? So now this is going to be the hot one. Lost Origin and Brilliant Stars. These are going to be the hot ones, right? And then the next the next thing that's the next affordable one that is going to sell out, sell out and take off. What's that? Um, Battle Styles would be one. And then um, uh, Silver Tempest. Um, I don't have the chart for uh, Silver Tempest up here. Um, let me let's pull that up real quick. Um, but you can see battle styles is still pretty low, um, so I wouldn't be buying that at Pokemon Center um, price. But if Silver Tempest is going to be the next one before battle styles, most likely. But if you want to think two move two carousel moves ahead, then battle styles is going to eventually it's going to get there, no matter what you guys think of it. Um, so um, Silver Tempest. Um, I mean, look at this chart. It's kind of it came up went up came back down um so yeah this is still available on the pokemon center um these prices are below pokemon center so um this one might take a while but predicting predicting what's coming up next um is is one of the strategies and with this it's 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 very easy currently um to predict it's all sword and shield with the exception of what will happen, so like the Japanese, the specialty set, so Japanese 151 had a reprint. I'm telling you what will happen is English 151 will get a reprint. Um, and then that will get grabbed up um, similar. Um, there's no booster boxes for English, but it's kind of similar. It's going to get a lot of attention. So the deal with that is if we're going off Crown, Z Crown Zenith, um, look at eight, eight to nine months or like holiday time. Um, expect a 151 English reprint. Um, so that is one thing. And also, um, the other strategies would be, so <clears throat> either you're going to predict what's coming around the carousel, or you're going to be ready to pull your trigger, have your money ready. Like for example, I missed out on the, um, the brilliant stars, right? So you can wait right before the jumping off point when it's starting to get hyped and you get in right away and you be ready. Um, that That's another good idea as well. Um, I mean, if you can predict a little bit sooner, um, you might have to hold on some of your product for longer, um, but that just depends on your end goal for, for what you're trying to accomplish. But um, so predict or get ready to jump. Um, what you don't generally want to do is chase when we're up at these peaks and like, like, um, let's see. So which one, like, uh, so like fusion strike, I mean, you, this is where you have to do a little bit of predicting too, but if you like, if you're buying in at this peak right here, um, not to say that it's not going to go up again, but a lot of times they'll, they'll hold hold level and they might dip a little bit and it might be more of a longer term if you're looking for immediate you need to be hitting a little bit on the way up or or at that at that bottom um that like i said that can depend so it it, it can be hard to know but if you're over here right if you're at msrp or below you're good there's never been a booster box that's after time selling for less than msrp so if you're at or below msrp you guys are good so, um, predict or get ready to ride the, ride the upswing, um, as soon as that happens. Um, and then as far as like quantities, there's a few ways to look at, um, picking up quantities. Um, I'm kind of trying to expand, um, my, like, I want to get like my minimum would be one case is kind of where I'm trying to go with, um, with some of my, um, sealed collection. Um, 
but not everybody can afford a case. So even like one booster box of every set is always good. But you can also think to, if you can do two booster boxes minimum, then whenever that price, say that price like over doubles, eventually you can sell one booster box off and then that paid for your whole initial investment of the two boxes and then you can just let that ride. Um, so that's never a bad idea. Um, and then if you can up that a little bit to three boxes, like kind of do the same exact strategy of when it when it really pops, sell one, get your cost, and then like if you want to have one to rip, and then you have one to keep for like long term. Um, it's kind of like the rule of three, I guess. Um, but yeah, and you can kind of just like, if you're smart about it, you can keep just expanding um, if you're able to have the self-control to not be ripping product, because that is the fastest way to lose money in this space. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's it. That kind of covers just like the whole, um, the whole cyclical, it's like a carousel. I was just thinking about that today. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you're this far in the video and you're not subscribed, what are you guys doing? Go down, hit the, the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and also let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, about the carousel idea. I think it's a great visualization of like what's happening in the market. Um, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase. It was never a phase.